Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Inshallah, we'll begin the tafsir today and we'll see the detail of the Surah Al Yasin. And in this, we'll cover from Juz number 23. And Surah Yasin, we have done uh, previously detail about it. But from here, we'll continue. So, Let's uh, begin. Let's begin with dua. Nahmadu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem. Amma ba'd fawz billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlul uqtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. So here we're going to see uh, juz number uh, 22. Here Surah Yaseen starts uh, in uh, Juice number 22 and it continues in Juice 23. So here in Juice 23, Ayah number 22 onwards will continue. Let's see the uh, Ayah of the Quran first. Auz billahi min shaitanji bismillah rahman rahim. Wa ma liya la abudu allazi fatarani wa ilayhi turja'un. What excuse do I have if I do not worship the one who has created me? To whom you will be returned. And that's how Jew starts here. Wa ma liya. And wa and this is a connecting ayah. Ma what li for me la not. Abudu and it's from abd ayn badal. I will worship or obey or serve. Allazi hu fatarani he created me. So here to whom we are saying he created me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But ilayhi to him, turja'un, we will be written. So it would not be justified on my part if I do not worship him who has created me and to whom you shall be brought back. Turja'un is from Raja. So here the ayah says clearly and let's see a few more ayahs and we're going to do the tafsir together. The next ayah. Uh, here in ayah number 22 and 23 in ayah 22 and why should I not worship he who created me and to whom you will be written and 23 should I take other than him false deities while if the most merciful intends for me some adversity their intercession will not avail me at all nor can they save me uh, here it says uh, do at the khizu, I take min from Duni besides other than Ali Hata, Ali Hatan deities or Allah, Ali Ha gods in if Yuri Yuri the knee, he intends or wants me or Rahman Rahman. Bidurin is from Dorar Dwadrara with any harm. La not Tugni, it she will avail or benefit. It's from Ghani. Anni from me Shafa at whom. Shafa we use for intercession, shay and anything. Bala and nor yun qadun they can take out or save me. Here we see ayah number twenty and twenty one. Uh, here talking about how. Uh, let's continue from ayah number twenty. Let's together we do in ayah number twenty we have seen. There came a man running from the farthest part of the town. He said, Oh my people, obey the messenger. And it is the core of the surah. And obey those who ask no wages of you and who are rightly guided. And here quoting what reached him from Ibn Abbas and uh, others, they said, the people of the city resolved to kill their messengers. And then a man came running to them from the farthest part of the town to help them against his people. They said his name was Habib. Allah, Allah, Allah knows best. He used to work with the ropes. He was a sickly a man who suffered from leprosy and he was very charitable, giving half of his earning in the charity. And his fitra, uh, natural inclination was sound. And Shabi bin Bashir said, narrating from Ikrama uh, that the name of the man mentioned in Yasin was Habib and Najjar. But Allah knows best, we don't know, and he was killed by the people. Qala ya qawmi tabi'u mursaleen. 
he said oh my people obey the messengers so previously we did that i'm just doing a quick review so that we can concentrate on the following ayas he urged his people to follow the messenger who had come to them and it the be o man la yes alu kum ajran obey those who ask no wages of you because they are doing for the sake of allah they don't want any wage any ajr means for the message which they convey to you and they are rightly guided in what they are calling you to the worship of allah alone with no partners or associate wa ma li la abudu allazi fatarani that's how the juz starts here so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ma li and uh, means why should i not worship him who has created me means what is there to stop me from sincere sincere worshiping to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one who has created me and worshiping him alone with no partners or associate wa ilaihi turjaun and to him you shall be returned means on the day of resurrection when he will requite you for your deeds if they are good then you will be rewarded and if they are evil then you will be punished attaqizu min duni aliha shall i take besides him any other deity any other god this is a rhetorical question intention to rebuke and chastise and here says in yuridun rahman bi durri and here when rahman yuridu here we see yuridu rahman bi durri la tughni anni the most gracious intends me any harm their intercession will be of no use who the other deities for me whatsoever nor they can save me means these gods when you worship instead of him possess no power whatsoever if allah wills me some harm you know fala kashifa lahu illa hu and this is in surah number 6 ayah number 17 none can remove it but he who allah can do it these idols can neither cause any harm nor bring any benefit and they cannot save me from the any calamity or anything and here uh, uh here let's move in me indeed i is a lafi dalal in mubin then lafi surely la with fatha here surely and it's a uh, taqid here emphasis dalal in a string dwad lam lam mubin it's from ba ya nun clear explicit so it says then really i should be in plain error means if i were to take them as gods instead of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and following ayah it says inni amantu bi rabbikum fasma'un inni indeed i amantu i believe why amantu i believe because of you see dhamma on ta because of that it's i bi rabbikum bi with rabbikum your rab why your rab because of kum in between i'm going to tell you few things so that you can uh understand it and that way you could uh, you know understand the word meaning fasmauni so you all listen to me it's from samia if you see the main word is there in between fa is for so samia is the main word sami fasmauni means so you all listen to me so here it says really i have believe in your lord so listen to me ibn ishaq said quoting from what had reached him from ibn abbas radhiyallahu anhu he said to the people inni amantu bi rabbikum verily i have believe in your lord in him you have this belief and fasmauni and listen to me means listen to what i say or it may be that he has addressing the messengers when he said inni amantu bi rabbikum verily i have believe in your lord meaning who has sent you fasmauni so here when talking about fasmauni so listen to me meaning bear witness to that before him this was narrated by ibn jarir 
who said and others said that this was addressed to messengers and he said to them listen to what i say and bear witness to what i say before my lord that i have believed in your rub in your lord and have followed you this interpretation is more apparent and allah knows best ibn abbas ishaq said uh, quoting from what had reached him from um, this they said when he said that they turned on him as one and killed him you remember that rajulan mumin he came and they killed him once and he had no one to protect him and uh, from that qatada said they started to stone him while he was saying oh allah guide my people for they do not know and they kept stoning him until he died a violent death and he was still praying even though they were stoning and you know uh, reprimanding but still he was making dua and then he was saying have me allah have mercy on him <coughs> excuse me so here we learn how he was saving the people even though he is going through the calamities so let's move the following ayah خيل دخول الجنة قال يا ليت قوم يا لمون قيل it was said ادخلوا is from دقلا you enter الجنة here جنة is literal paradise جنة قال he said يا ليت oh wish would that قوم my nation people يا لمون they know so here the person you remember that Mobin person what happened to him it was said enter paradise now final where he is going to janna allah is saying he didn't said what happened this 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 allah is clearly saying the judgment enter janna he said would that my people know still he is concerned about the people qila dkhulul janna qala ya laita qaum ya lamun he is asking would my people know and here later we see bima bima ghaffarli Rabbi waj'alni minal mukramin ghaffirli it's from ghaffara he forgive me rabbi my rab waj'alni he made me min from mukramin those who are honored so that my lord allah has forgiven me and made me of the honored ones so he is thanking allah he is honoring allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look at his humility he is so humble he is not uh, giving a uh, you know priority to himself he is appreciating allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is thanking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is so thankful and he says he forgave me allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ma anzalna wa and ma not anzalna be sent down allah upon qaumihi his nation min from badhi after him min from jundin any army host min from as samai heaven sky wama and not kunna munzilin that my lord allah has forgiven me and made me of the honored ones and we sent not against his people after him any army from the heaven nor was it needful for us to send such a thing and here in the following ayah we see it kanat illa sayhatu wahidatan فَهِزَاهُمْ خَامِدُونَ إِنْ نَوْتْ كَانَتْ إِتْ وَاز إِلَّا أَكْسَبْ سَيْحَا أَسَيْ كْرَيْ لَاوْدْ شَوْدْ وَاحِدَةً وَنْ فَإِزَا دَنْ بِهُولْ إِنْسْتَنْتْلِ هُمْ دَيْ خَامِدُونَ وَنْسْ سَيْلَنْسْ إِكْسْتِنْجْوِشْدْ So let's see from 26 to 29 detail of this. So here in 26 ayah we see it was said enter paradise. So here when asked uh, this person to enter pa- paradise we see here ayah number 26 khila dkhulul jannata qala ya layta qawmil ya'lamun and then we see bima why is it so bima ghaffirli rabbi wa ja'alni minal mukramin indeed i have believed in your lord so listen to me and hear oh uh, of how my uh, lord has forgiven me and placed me among the honored so we see that when people reject the prophets three prophets that were sent to them allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help the 
prophets by sending them a person from such a far place who believe in them and he did uh, didn't just believed in the prophets but he also told the people to believe in the prophets and we see that this was no ordinary step this was basically putting his own life in danger because earlier the people had said to the prophets that if you do not stop we are going to kill you uh, we are going to stone you to death so when this man came and spoke in support of prophets what happened the people killed him they killed him they didn't spare his life we see that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loved his deed of this person this particular person so much so that as soon as he was killed immediately it was said udkhulu al-jannah enter jannah he was admitted into jannah paradise now we see apparently it was terrible and that this person he speaks the truth and he is robbed of his life apparently this was a very sad but in reality this was a beautiful beginning this is the beginning where in jannah and this something that we need to remember that many times people look at the things that are going on in a person's life and uh, they pity him but in reality his status near allah is very great and we see that this person when he is admitted to jannah he does not forgot his people he still says i wish they know i wish they know the reward that my lord has bestowed upon me he was so concerned for them and we see why is it that he wants them to know that they too would believe he, he don't want to be boastful isn't it he want them to this is sincerity this is his sincerity what happen with us generally is that when we in something immediately we look down at those whom we defeated immediately we look down at them even if it is something as small as getting ahead of someone while driving or i mean really looking down on the others but look at this great man that how he is wishing for the people that i wish they know and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said allah gives wealth to those whom he loves and also to those whom he does not love this is a waid you know but he gives iman only to those whom he loves verily when allah loves a servant he gives him faith he bestow him with faith so this person he had sincerity in him you see what a big heart this man had that is why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed him with the faith and greater than that is blessing of the sweetness of faith prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said who performs three meaning he who does three actions will taste the sweetness of uh, faith what are they the one who worship allah alone la ilaha illallah secondly that he believes that there is no god worthy of worship but allah la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah and he lives that lifestyle there no one worthy of my love my attention then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thirdly he gives zakat of his wealth happily happily which is mandatory on him every year meaning every year that he has to give zakat he gives it how happily not uh, uh, you know uh, grudgingly and so person who comes forward in the way of allah in the way that even if he has to give his life he give it happily even he has to give the part of his wealth he gives happily even he has to give up some of his sleep he give it happily this is what really enjoying the sweetness of faith this is really relishing faith because this person has no resentment in his heart rather he loves allah and he loves to do whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from him and uh, here uh, Abu Zar radiyallahu anhu said I asked Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that what is the saves of the servant from the fire how slaves are saved from the fire and Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said iman billahi 
It is faith in Allah. Don't think, you know, believing in Allah is an easy thing. This is a big thing. So when person has been granted faith, then this is truly huge blessing of Allah. And those who are deprived of this faith, then they are truly deprived. So this ayah number 27, we see so much uh, things like, you know, detail about it. So here, there are a few more things. When Teg uh, talks about Othulul Jannah, entered Jannah. So he entered with all its bountiful provision. When Allah had taken away from him all the sickness, grief and exhaustion of this world, Mujahid said, Mm, this was his right for he had been killed when he saw the reward. He said, would that my people know? Qatada said, you will never find a believer but he is sincere and is never insincere. When he saw with his own eyes how Allah had honored him, he said, and he said, would that my people know? That my Lord has forgiven me and made me of the honored ones. He wished that his people could know about what he was seeing with his own eyes of the honor of Allah. Ibn Abbas said he was sincere towards the people during the lifetime by saying, Ya qawmi ittabi o mursaleen, O my people, obey the messengers. And after his death, by saying, Ya laytani, you know. He's regretting that, you know, he is in Jannah, but still he's concerned about other people. So that's that's how people are concerned for the others, you know. Would that my people know that my Lord, Allah has forgiven me and made me of the honored ones, Mukramun. So he's uh, uh, thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ghaffili rabbi wajali minal mukrameen. And this was recorded by Ibn Abbas that uh, my Lord has forgiven me and made me of the honored word because of my faith in my Lord and my belief in the messengers. He mean that if they could see the great reward and everlasting blessings that he had attained, this would lead them to follow the messengers. And... Uh, the, this was the guidance, you know, the, this is the beautiful example shown in the Quran. Wama anzalna, and here we see in the following ayah, Wama anzalna ala min badihi. And here we see, and we sent not against his people after him any an army from the heaven, nor was it needful for us to send. Allah tells us that he took revenge on his people. After they had killed him, because he may be he be blessed and exalted, was angry with him, for they had disbelieved in his messengers, and killed his close friend. Allah tell us that he did not send an army of angels, nor did he need to send them to destroy these people. The matter was simpler than that. This was the view of Ibn Masud, and uh, here Wama anzalna ala qawmihi. And was not sent against his people after him an army from the heaven nor was needful means he said we did not seek to outnumber them for the matter was slim simpler than that. And here we see in the following ayah in Kanat illa sayhatum wahida fa izaham khamidun. And here it was uh, but one sayha, they all were still. He said, so Allah destroyed the tyrant king and destroyed the people of Antioch and they disappeared from the face of the earth, leaving no traces. Nothing, no trace. It was said that the words, Wama kunna munzilin, nor was it needful for us to send such a thing. Means we did not send the angels against the nation when we destroyed them. All we did was to send the punishment to destroy them. It was said that the words Wama anzalna ala qawmi and we send not against his people after him. Any army from the heaven means and another message to them. This was the view of Mujahid said Allah did not rebuke his people after they killed him. And in Kanat illa sayha it was but one sayha. 
in the all were still ibn jarir said the former view is more correct because the message does not need to be brought by any army the scholars of tafsir said allah sent jibril al-islam and he sees the pillars at the gates of their city and then he hurled one sahya upon them and lo they all were still to the last man among them and no soul was left in any body we have already referred to the reports from many of the salaf that this city was the antioch and that these three messengers were messengers sent from masiya isa ibn maryam and qatada uh, and others stated this is not mentioned by any of the later scholars tafsirs beside him this issue must be examined from a number of angels the first is that if we take the story of face value it indicates that these men were messengers from allah and uh, not from the isa al islam ibn maryam so that was the thing mentioned here and here uh, later we uh, we see there are few more things mentioned here is arsalna ilayhim and we send to them two messenger they denied them both so we reinforced them with a third and they said verily we have been sent to you a messenger up to and this was mentioned and also rabbana ya'lamu inna ilaykum lamursalun our lord knows that we have been sent a messengers to you and your duty is only to convey plainly the message if they had been among the disciples they would have said something to indicate they had come to from the isa ibn maryam but it was not so in antum illa bashirun misluna so here we see a number uh, we move on ya hasratan they regrets ala upon uh, al ibad servants ma not ya tihim he comes to them in rasulun any rasul illa kanu they will be he yastahsiun they mock or make fun here so here we see uh, in ayah number uh, 30 31 and 32 we'll see together ay number 30 alas for mankind they never came a messenger to them but they used to mock at them and here in 31 we see so they uh, not see how many of generation we have destroyed before them verily they will not return to them uh, and here we see alam yarawkum they see ahlakna we destroyed qablahum before them mean from al quruni the generations and now indeed they ilay him to them la yarjun they do not return and in ayah number 32 we see wa in and not kullu all each every lamma except jami on all together ladaina near us mahdarun to be presented so let's see the this following ayahs in detail so from ayah number 30 onwards here go to the disbelievers because they are not believing it so here ya hasratan alal ibadi how regretful for the servants oh what a pity they did not come to them any messenger except that they used to ridicule them so here we see go to the disbelievers ali bin abi tala reported that ibn abbas commented on this aya ya hasrata ala ibadi alas for mankind this means go to mankind qatada said ya hasrata ala ibadi alas for mankind means alas for mankind who have neglected the command of allah the meaning is that they feel regret and sorrow on the day of resurrection when they see the punishment with their own eyes they will regret how they disbelieved the messengers of allah and went against the command of allah for they used to disbelieve in them in this world and ma yati hum ma yati him min rasulin illa kanu bihi yastahzi'un and here in this they never came a messenger to them but they used to mock him means they disbelieve him made fun of him and rejected the message of truth with which he had been sent and the refutation of the belief in the 
transmigration of the souls. The Allah says, Alam yarawkum ahlakna qablahum in Quruni annahum ilayhim la yarjoon. Do they not see how many of the generation? Allah is saying how many of the generation Allah has qablihim in Quruni we have destroyed before them. Annahum ilayhim la yarjoon. We have destroyed before them. Barely they will not return to them. Meaning, do you not learn a lesson from those whom Allah destroyed uh, before you of those who believe, disbelieved in the messengers? They came to this world only once and will not return to it. And it is not as many of the ignorant and immoral people claim that. In here, illa hayatuna dunya namutu wa nahya. And this is mentioned in Surah number 23, Ayah number 37. There is nothing but our life of this world. We die and we live. And this was the belief in the cycle of reincarnation. Some people, you know, they have um, misconception. In their ignorance, they believe that they would come back. No, never. There is no such thing in Islam and there is no re uh, reincarnation. Islam completely. Completely refute that. Completely. Okay. Never ever think about that. Alam yaro kum ahlakna. Against. Do they not see how many of the generation we have destroyed before them? Barely. They will not return to them. Wa in kulla lamma jamiun ladayna muhtharun. And here we see. Wa in and not kulla lamma jamiun ladayna muhtharun will be presented. And surely all, every one of them will be brought before us. Means all of the past nations and those that are yet to come will be gathered and brought to the account before Allah. And on the day of judgment, they will be requited according to their good and evil deeds. And this is the ayah like it's mentioned in Surah number 11, ayah number 111. وَإِن كُلَّ لَمَّا لَيُوَفِّيَنَّهُمْ رَبُّكَ أَعْمَالَهُمْ And verily to each of them your Lord will repay their works in full. Fully Allah will pay them. And here, uh, till here we'll stop and quick review for this ayahs. And um, we started from ayah number 22 and before that I start from 20 because I just want to make sure about the Rajul al Momin and ayah number 20 we have seen they come from the farthest end of the city a man running he said oh my people follow the messenger and after that we have seen uh, follow who do not ask for any payment they are rightly guided he was asking that and why should I not worship who created me and whom you will be written that's what he was saying and uh, this should I take other than him false deity if the most merciful intends for me any adversity their intercession will not avail me at all so indeed I would then be manifest error he is giving all the clear proofs you know I don't want to be in error and all those things indeed I believe in your Lord so listen to me and after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in ayah number 26 it was said, enter Jannah, Udkhulul Jannah. And you know, after that also he was saying, I wish my people could know. So after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned how your Lord uh, has forgiven me and play, like you know, he's thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah has forgiven me and honored me, Mukramun. And also he's so much thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, in ayah number 28 and we did not send down upon his people after him any soldiers Allah said I don't need to send any soldiers or anything I can destroy anyway and it was not but one shout Allah said just one shout that is enough for them and yeah hasrat in alal ibadi how regretful for the servants and then we see in ayah number 31 have they not considered how many generation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has destroyed will they not return and later on we see and indeed all of them will be brought before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sign for them is the and later it starts from a dead earth how it's going to be so we'll stop till the I number 32 we did 
inshallah we'll continue in the next class subhanak allahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh